It's 10 trivia questions on Jennifer Aniston movies. Name the movie from the clue given. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds. Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and having some fun with me today. Trivia is what I do for a living. And if you have a special event coming up, I would love to host that event for you, your friends, your family, your coworkers, your church. I don't know, whatever you got going on, go to my website, triviawithbuds.com, see all the things I offer, and hit me up on the contact form. Let me know what you need virtually, in person, or as a hybrid event. I am traveling all around this great nation of the United States and doing shows this fall and holiday season coming up, already getting booked for November, December, January shows. So if you have something going on, check it out, triviawithbuds.com, let me know what you need. Today's episode is all about Jennifer Aniston movies, a topic I don't think I've done before, specifically just her movies on the podcast before or at live events. But we did it at my live events last week. I thought it would make a fun episode. So here we are. We're going to do that. But before we do that, geek out challenges. Here they come. Name two films directed by Judd Apatow. We had a topic all about Judd Apatow films last week on the podcast. Name two films directed by Judd Apatow. For television, four 1950s TV shows. For literature, four titles by Agatha Christie. For music, two songs about a specific event in history. And for miscellaneous, six celebrities who have been arrested. There you go. All warmed up, all ready to go. And we're going to jump in to Jennifer Aniston movie trivia right now. Here we go. All right, name the movie from the clue given. The IMDB page of Jennifer Aniston, hopefully in your head. Number one, Jen plays Grace, the love interest of Jim Carrey's Bruce. Number one, Jen plays Grace, the love interest of Jim Carrey's Bruce. Number two, Jen's character has a pet ferret named Rodolfo. What is that movie? Jen's character has a pet ferret named Rodolfo. Number three, Jen's character wants more lemons when Vince Vaughn's character didn't buy enough. Number four, Jen plays Jenny, the mom of a new Labrador puppy. Number four, the mom of a new Labrador puppy named Jenny. What Jennifer Aniston movie is that? Number four. Number five, Jen and Adam Sandler get framed for the death of a wealthy billionaire. Jen and Adam Sandler get framed for the death of a rich guy. Number five. Number six, Jen plays a dentist that crosses the line with her employee. Jen plays a dentist that crosses the line with her employee. Number seven, Jen's boyfriend is the lead singer of a Steel Dragon cover band. Jen's boyfriend, lead singer of a Steel Dragon cover band. Number eight, Jen plays Tori in the original Irish horror legends story. Jen plays Tori in this Irish story. Number nine, Jen pretends to be married to Jason Sudeikis and travels with kids in an RV. Jason pretends to be married to Jason Sudeikis and travels with kids in an RV. Number 10, Jen plays a CEO trying to close her partying brother's branch of the company. And the bonus for two points, Jen plays a former beauty queen in a Texas town. What is that movie for two points? Number 11, Jen plays a former beauty queen in a Texas town. Those are all your questions on Jennifer Aniston movies. We'll be back with the answers after this. We've returned with the answers to Jennifer Aniston movies. Here's number one. Jen plays Grace, the love interest of Jim Carrey's Bruce and Bruce Almighty, where he has the powers of God from Morgan Freeman. Number one, Bruce Almighty. Number two, Jen's character has a pet ferret named Rodolfo in Along Came Polly with Ben Stiller. Number three, Jen's character wants more lemons when Vince Vaughn's character didn't buy enough. That's The Breakup. The Breakup. 
She wants a whole centerpiece table of lemons. And he says, why don't you just uh, put them in a glass? Because he only bought two or three. Number three, she needs a dozen. Number four, Jen plays Jenny, the mom of a new Labrador puppy in Marley and Me. Marley and Me. Number five, Jen and Adam Sandler get framed for the death of a wealthy billionaire. Murder Mystery on Netflix, a straight-to-Netflix movie with Adam Sandler. And a sequel says post-production on IMDb for Jen's IMDb page. Number five, Murder Mystery. Number six, Jen plays a dentist that crosses the line with her employee in Horrible Bosses 1 and 2. Number seven, Jen's boyfriend is the lead singer of a Steel Dragon cover band and rock star, Mark Wahlberg. Number eight, Jen plays Tori in the original Irish horror legends story, Leprechaun. Leprechaun. She did not make an appearance in Leprechaun Back to the Hood, unfortunately. Number nine, Jen pretends to be married to Jason Sudeikis and travels with kids in an RV in We're the Millers. We're the Millers. Number 10, Jen plays a CEO trying to close her partying brother's branch and office Christmas party. And the bonus for two points, Jen plays a former beauty queen in a Texas town in Dumplin. Dumplin. Those are your questions and answers for today. Hope you had fun playing along. Remember, you can dedicate an episode to a loved one in your life for 25 bucks or send them a Budstagram video. It's like Cameo, but for trivia lovers, I'll record a five-minute video with five questions on a topic your friend, family members, or coworker loves and send them the video for any occasion. Venmo, Ryan-Buds on Venmo, 25 bucks, or PayPal, RyanBuds at gmail.com. For either of those... Greetings, either the customized episode or the Budstagram or 50 for both. Happy to do it. And uh, thanks for listening. Fact of the day, Kotex was first manufactured as bandages during World War I. Kotex was first manufactured as bandages during World War I. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.